Good morning. Good rise. Salam. Shalom. Hotep. My Facebook tears. What's up? I'll wait for some people for Facebook to tell y'all I'm here for a second. Then we'll get going. I know the more the more <laughs> it's funny I let my numbers go down and then I start doing lives and then they go back up and I stop and they go back down and our lives come back up seven bam why is it so hard for y'all to be yourselves I don't understand it sister asked me earlier this morning um how do I find it so easy to be myself, peace and blessings to them L's and them bays. We've got a gray in the house. How y'all doing? Greetings and blessings. It's easy for me to be myself because, quite frankly, I don't give a flying fuck about what most people think. And I will tell you why I don't give a flying fuck about what most people think. Because most people are stupid. Most people don't even have the wherewithal to try to be themselves. That's first and foremost. Well, Fee, how do you see this in society? Easy. Trying to cover up who the fuck you are. People are always trying to cover up who they are. I don't cover up who I am. I'll be the first one to tell you whatever you think about me. Because that's exactly what I am. Ain't no reason for me to lie to people about who or what I am. You know, people, well, you're a warrior. Don't use that in bad terms because I'm not. I don't use it in bad terms. I've spent all my life trying to be a warrior. You ain't said nothing to me. You a brat. Yep, I'm a master. You're an asshole. Yep, I'm a master. You're mean. Yep. Fee, you're good. Yep. Fee, you're so strong. Yep. Because <laughs> whatever you say is true. Whatever you say about me is true. The fee, you have such beautiful hair. Okay. Because somebody's going to turn around and be like, the fuck is wrong with her hair? See, it's, it's those parallels. Fee, you're the truth. Well, the bitch is a liar because she has a ring in her nose. See? See how that polarity shit work? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Al. <laughs> Thank you. But how do you get to this point? How do you get to the point where you are okay with you? You got to spend time with you. You have to spend unadulterated, non-lying ass time with yourself. Fee, you're a liar in some cases. Fee, you're a liar in some cases. It depends on what the fuck I got to get done. God gave me a left and a right hand. And I use both of them equally. You are not an asshole. You're confident in your crap. No, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I am confident in my craft, but yes, I can be a complete, total a-hole at times. I can be. I've watched myself do it. <laughs> I've watched me do it. I've watched me be compassionate beyond being compassionate. I, I've watched myself I've watched myself do things out of character just to see if I could do it. Everybody in the room knew what my answer was going to be. But I didn't give that particular answer. I gave the exact opposite. 
and waited. I like to mix it up every now and again. I like to be just a teeny bit unpredictable. It keeps people it keeps people wondering what the fuck is gonna happen. Peace and blessings. Fabian, how you doing? It keeps people wondering what the fuck is gonna happen. Be true to you. You know, Fee, I wanna walk your path. You ain't got it to walk my path. Walk your path. That'll be your challenge. Your challenge is walking your path, your way. Nobody has the answers. Let me say this shit one more time, y'all. Ain't nobody got the answers, not even me. We guessing. We are all guessing. Guessing. And because it seems to go this way every time I do this, I'm going to keep doing this until it does not go my way. That's not knowing. That's experimenting. And it's okay for you to experiment. Keep experimenting. That's how you find out who you are. Damn. Stop giving yourself away. Let me say that again. Stop giving yourself away. You are valuable. If nobody else told you you valuable, you are valuable. And and here here's something that people won't tell you. You ready? You ready? You ready? It is not those things that you do well that define you. It is your shortcomings that define you. Your shortcomings define you more than anything else. And it is your shortcomings that qualify you for your job. The job that you are supposed to do here for other people. It is those qualities that qualify you. Not your accolades. Not those things that you do oh so well. It is your fucked up -ness. Let me say that again. It is your fucked up -ness that qualifies you for some of the greatest jobs that you will ever love. And one of those jobs is being yourself and accepting your own. Whatever you consider your own is. I'm not here to tell you who or what you are. I'm here to get you to tell you who you are. That's where heaven is. Heaven is being secure in who and what I am. I don't sugarcoat me. I don't bullshit me either. Do I lie? Yes. Do I tell the truth? Yes. But don't you? Don't you? How do I get other people to fall in love with me and I'm not in love with myself? You know, most of y'all demons attract each other because they like playing with each other. Now, what you gonna say about that? Right. Dude, being yourself. And that doesn't mean, hey, I see this woman walking down the street and there's something she got on, there's something she's saying, there's something she doing. And I'm like, yo, I like that. I can incorporate that into me. You are an input machine. You can input and output shit. Try on a look. Try something new. Yes. Exactly, Fabian. Exactly. Do something. Fall in love with your ugly. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. Put your ugly on front street. Put your ugly right out on fucking front street. And see what happens. I 
oh, I'm trying to be good. You fail. You will always fail at trying to be good. Because you're polar. You are a polarity. You're not going to always be good. And good is a subjective term. Oh, fee, that's bad. That's a subjective term. Why do you have to be good all the time? Who the fuck t taught you that? The powers that be weren't good all the time to get their power, were they? Oh, come on. Somebody put up some ones. If you believe that the powers that be right now were nice about how they acquired their shit, I'll wait. Mm-hmm. Because I'm telling you now, they did not acquire this type of power and control by being good. And if, if so, the good is only from their perspective. Because their good was bad for the whole fucking world. What is good for the spider is not necessarily good for the fly. So we need to check these good and bad terms. Oh, that I'm trying to live. I'm trying to live so good. And that's why you keep getting walked on. That's why you can't acquire shit. That's why the enemy stays in power. Because he's not trying to be good. Anybody else notice what's happening? I threw away my TV because I'm pretty much sure what's happening. They're trying to fuck us. It's just that damn simple. But, um, you know, and I get it. I get it. Nobody wants to let go of God power. Nobody. And when you can control everything, nobody wants to give up that type of control. Nobody, no thing, ever. It just don't happen like that. Oh, I ain't seen no ones. Y'all 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 truly believe that the government is good? That that's what's going on? Or do you believe it's bad? Because I'm, I'm in a quandary. Because quite frankly, let, let's be honest. At the current rate that is going is actually good, in my opinion. Because this bitch will fall. They're, they're orchestrating it to fall. Because there's nothing that you won't kept built that you keep doing this type of shit to. But then, they did orchestrate the last Wall Street a uh, downturn and debacle just trying to figure out an equation. They fucked with the whole world's money system just to figure out an equation. But that shit's not evil. And I will tell you why. It is not evil. Because the powers that be did not suffer at all. And they don't give a fuck about us if they gave a fuck about us they wouldn't rampage the land they wouldn't rampage the air they wouldn't rampage the water but as long as you are not being yourself they can do what they want they ain't getting no pushback what pushback And every time a black person try to go back and be themselves, we get labeled. We get labeled horribly. 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 All of a sudden, I'm a full-blown fucking witch. Okay. And not one of those, ooh, she's cute, Samantha, twinkle your nose kind of witch. No. <gasps> she's a witch. Who the fuck told you that?
Because I want to know about herbs, I'm a witch. Because I want to know about natural childbirth, I'm a witch. Because I want to know about crystals, I'm a witch. Because I want to know about incense and ethers and how that affects the world, I'm a witch. Because I need to know astrology and astronomy, I'm a witch. Because I want to know about woods and berries and other seeds and how to get stuff to grow. And how roots, barks, berries, leaves all contribute from one plant. How that works differently on the human body. I'm a witch. I'll be that then. I'll be that. Because... Y'all, as black people, y'all are some judgmental ass motherfuckers. Especially you brothers. You brothers are worse than fucking women sometimes. And you don't even know it. And, yeah, I said it. You are worse than fucking women sometimes. This brother, I ain't gonna call no names. But I've been watching in the cut. This brother came to the class to do uh, tarot, right? He said he told his people he did tarot. There is not one brother on his line or on that string that encouraged him or said, congratulations on learning something new, bruh. They all ripped him a new one. All ripped. Oh, you went to that witchy spot. Oh, you learning witchcraft. No, nigga. He coming back to his fucking self. No encouragement. And we wonder what the fuck is wrong with our men. This shit. You let one brother come out and try to learn something new. And all of a sudden, he's turned into a fucking woman. They didn't even call him a warlock. They didn't even say witch doctor. The first thing they went to is to emasculate his ass and call him a witch. You're an ass. You're a fucking ass. A non-learned, non-cultured ass on top of that. But y'all want to be taken fucking seriously. Niggas want to be taken seriously. But when a brother tries to come back, to learning himself and the crafts that we originally put out, all of a sudden he dicking off. You's an idiot. You're a jackass. But you wonder why we emasculate you. You emasculate yourselves constantly and often. Every time I hear a black man tell another black man to suck his dick, all I think about is homosexual culture. Because what heterosexual man is going to invite another man to his penis? Right. But you want to be taken seriously as a man. I thought men, I thought a man's job was to acquire knowledge of self for his family. What the fuck y'all think Tahuti and all the other goddamn Egyptian men were doing? They were priests, you dumb motherfucker. They were divining, divinating. They were telling. They were telling the future as history. But you going to downplay a brother trying to get that information back. We, we are so... And these were conscious brothers, no less. I went back and looked up every brother that jumped in his shit. Just to see what I was dealing with. And they're the conscious ones. They're the conscious ones. We don't respect our own damn knowledge. We don't respect us trying to be us. So what's the point? 
What's the point? Oh, you got to get knowledge yourself. Well, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? I'm conscious. That just means you awake, ass. That don't mean you rolled out of bed yet. It don't mean you got the butter out your eyes. It don't even mean you peed first. It just mean you woke up and fucking yawned. Some of y'all need to go back to fucking sleep and do it all over again. You won't even let your brother try to be himself. Well, it's not just spoiled it. It got hijacked. Like every fucking thing else that's ours. We allow it to be hijacked. And then the meaning gets turned around. And then while we're doing it gets turned around. Never, never, never are we allowed to go with our first thought without shit being fucking interjected. And then we turn around and be like, but these are my friends. How? How? When? Maybe you don't understand what the fuck a friend is. Because a friend, when you tell amongst women, let me tell y'all brothers what happens amongst women. When we go out and we go, hey girl, I went and did this class, da 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 da. Ooh, what you learn? Man, doing the same thing. Hey, bro, I just took this class on such and such and such and such. Oh, nigga, what the fuck you do that shit for? <laughs> when did the black American man think that learning is for suckers? Ask yourself that, brothers, and sincerely ask yourself that. Because I have to question, I, I question every so-called conscious man around me. Because I hear little shit that just don't add up to consciousness. You know, I'm going to read three books and all of a sudden I'm a fucking human being. Off three fucking books? And that's as far as our black men go. I read three books. One of which is probably message to the black man in America. And all of a sudden you, you conscious. You got to keep up with that shit. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. Y'all want these, these masterful fucking names with minimal effort. Minimal fucking effort. What happened to men educating themselves so that the woman, when she's in the house taking care of the children and educating them as well, he can step in as a teacher sometimes for her. No, no, your children can't learn from you and her, just have to learn from her. And while women when while women are doing all this extra shit cuz you know she she's working, she's coming home to work, she's coming home to take care of the kids, she coming home to clean, she coming home to cook, she coming home to have sex with you, she coming home to clean the bathroom, coming home to take care of the garden. What the fuck are you doing? While she's masterfully being herself. Sitting on the couch watching shit, reading that book that you might have read twice. You 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 playing video games, my nigga. Because she has out educated you already. But you supposed to be the head of the house. I thought the head of the house was supposed to know about as much or a little bit more than everybody in the house. But you education shaming each other. Because then I wonder, then it, my wonderment becomes this. The brothers that are shaming these other brothers for learning. My question becomes, can you read my nigga? Can you read my nigga or are your reading skills just a little bit off? Because I'm learning that people down education... Because they have some deficiency in learning. I've watched 
I've watched dyslexics learn. I've watched uh, uh, people with disabilities learn. I've watched autistics learn. So if all of them people can learn, your mildly retarded ass can learn too. I said it. Your mildly retarded ass can learn too. And here's the thing, y'all. And we have to, in learning about yourself, maybe you should go talk to your mom and dad about the shit that they were doing around the time that you were conceived. Because fetal alcohol syndrome is real. Fetal alcohol syndrome is real. It's real. It's real. If your mama was drinking, your daddy was drinking, they were coking up, they, they were doing heroin. These are things that you need to know about you and how you came into this world. These are things that you need to take into consideration as to why some of your functions don't fucking work right. But damn. Bruh, it's getting to be a little discerning that we have all of these women who are taking all of these classes that are learning all of this wonderful stuff about themselves. They're becoming priestesses and doulas and midwives. And, and, and natural doctors. And I look around and I go, where are the men with the exact same learning. And then I look at these women's husbands and I go, Ooh, this ain't going to last long. Cause the yoke isn't even anymore. The yoke might've started out even, but sister didn't kick her shit in the high gear. Sister started sprinting and brother starts speed walking. We're going to have problems. Because here's what I know about the male ego. A lot of men, you can't tuck your egos. You cannot check your fucking egos. You can't do it. You sit there and you loathe that woman. Whether she make more money than you. Whether she, again, sister went out and worked the same amount of hours you went out into the world and worked. And when she got home, she had to cook, clean, and take care of the babies while you did what? Because culturally, men like to sit on their ass and enjoy their house time. Women don't get that fucking privilege. As soon as we get home, we go back to work. See, brother, why you wondering why women have... What, this, my black woman does not smile a lot. The fuck we got to smile for? I work outside the house. When I get home, I'm working in the house. When I get in the bed, I got to work for him, whether I want to or not. And when I get up in the morning, I have to do it all over again. Unfortunately, brothers, I'm here to tell you that you have unevenly yoked us. Black woman got way too many fucking responsibilities and you have way too little. Know thyself. Know thyself. Brother, if you at home and you ain't got shit else better to do and you ain't going to work for the white man, yet your woman is out working for the white man, you need to get your shit in gear, take care of them damn babies, and learn how to run a home. Taking care of children. And, and this is what kills me. The, the double standard of this shit too. There's a mom and a dad in the house. But the children are still only being raised by the woman. Because the brother in the house. Is absent as a fucking father. He's there. But he's not helping raise them kids. So she too is still just a single fucking parent. Why? 
What what else he got to do? I'll tell you what the fuck else he's doing. He's he's having an affair because how shit don't worry. Don't worry about how shit. And I'll tell you why he doesn't worry about how shit. He doesn't worry about how shit because the woman in his house is taking care of all that. He can do what the fuck he want. That means you ain't got shit to care for in your house. That means you not studying, bruh. You ain't got enough to fucking do with yourself. You can't be learning about yourself and you running up into three, four, five goddamn women. And they can't be learning about themselves if they're allowing it. No, no, no. He's supposed to be a director just by osmosis. Just because his dick is there. He's the leader of the house. No, you not. You a child. You are a child to that woman. And if you test her, you'll see that you're a child to her. You're just a child that she happens to be able to have sex with. Because I'm sorry, brothers. Most of y'all get into homes and you don't understand the depth of which that woman is thinking. You are another fucking responsibility. You hope if she got to tell you, hey, bro, can you take the trash out? That's child status shit. Hey, bro, you think you can wash the dishes? That's child status shit. Hey, bro, you think you can clean the bathroom? I mean, after all, you use that motherfucker too. And not only do you use it, you miss the fucking bowl in the morning, nigga. You don't think you have to clean up your own pee? Wash some of your own damn clothes? Uh, that's woman's work. No, nigga. That's human work. If you wear clothes, you should be able to wash them. If you eat out of fucking dishes, you should clean them. You the last motherfucker to get out the bed? Goddamn, make the bed up. Since when does being a man and head of the family stop you from doing human shit? That's woman's work. Human work, bitch. Human work. Because if it was woman's work, a woman should not have to go outside her home to work if we're talking about woman's work. Man should be outside since we're using all of these all of these gender roles. Let's use them. If we're going to use the fucking gender roles, let's fucking use them. Let's not let's not pick and choose at our will. Because I truly believe every human should be accountable for its own life. Let me say that again. Every human should be accountable for his own life. The only reason I take care of my kids is because they're still kids. But once them men become men, you get the fuck out of my house because I taught you to be self-sufficient. And if you're going to stay in my house, you will contribute because you're a man. Even if you're a woman, you contribute because that's just being human. That's not gender specific. That's just being human. Shit. I mean, honestly, bruh, when's the last time you had to wash your own shit streak draws? Thank that woman. Because some of y'all do not know how to wipe your asses. I'm here to tell you some of y'all don't know how to wash your asses. And you ain't never had an experience until you as a grown man have to wash the shit out of your own fucking underwear. And let me put this up here right quick. And this is me being real fucking messy. But nigga, if you gonna sag in public, make sure you don't have a shit streak. 
That shit drives me utterly insane. How the fuck you gonna show me your draws and they dingy with a shit streak? Use a nasty motherfucker. Pull your goddamn pants up and pull your pants up until you learn how to wipe your goddamn dingleberry ass. Oh, not only are the fucking things dingy, but we see the fucking shit streak, bruh. If you are questionable about wiping your black ass, don't sag. Or get you some wet wipes or something. It is ridiculous. And y'all think that shit look cute. It ain't cute. Damn, at least have some... If you gonna sag, have some white draws on. I mean crystal white draws. Get a fresh fucking pair, dog. Get a fresh pair. You can't sag and still be wearing draws that you've had on for the last three days and washing your ass is questionable. Don't do that. You giving me ammunition. Because it won't be the first time I've told somebody, please learn to wash your ass before you sag. Ma'am, huh, huh, what? You are Mr. Shitty right now. You are, you are a streak of stain. You are Hershey bar. I'm not quite sure what the fuck. What, what were you thinking? When, when you go sit down on the toilet, do you not look down at your drawers like the rest of us since we have to watch you from the back with your drawers showing? Maybe every now and again you should look at what's happening in your underwear before you decide to sag. <laughs> come on now and where y'all women at that taught these little motherfuckers not to wash themselves knowledge of self be clean be clean we will live in a place where we have we have immediate access to water there is nothing wrong with grabbing a washcloth after you sit down on the toilet and washcloth your booty. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. A. <laughs> Knowledge of self. And as a woman having knowledge of self, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see you degrade yourself like that. Don't get me wrong. I have some flaws and I have some misgivings. Every now and again, my hair is dry, dog. My hair get dry than a motherfucker. Somebody can tell me I'm all right with it. Just like I'm all right with telling you, hey, pull up your pants if you got shitty draws, nigga. You embarrassing all of us. As a whole people. <laughs> Strap the belt around your waist instead of your thighs. Being yourself requires crazy courage. That's too feminine. <laughs> Washing your ass is not a feminine feature. It's a human feature. Wash your ass, Mr. Dingleberry. Wash your ass. Because them dingleberries turn into streaks. And it's not cute. And still y'all be walking around with women. I be wondering, do the women... Girl, if I can see the shit... If I can see the streak in his drawers, you walking next to him, can you not smell it? Or does he does he walk around Mr. Shitty all the fucking time so you don't smell it? Because I can smell that. I digress. Being yourself is one of the hardest jobs you will ever love. It takes courage. It takes courage beyond courage to be yourself. Because you are always going to be too light, too this, too that, not enough this, not enough that, not enough that. You can change this. You can fix that. They're right. You can. But do it because you want to. Do it because it moves you to do so. And put your titles down, man. Put your titles down. 
You know, I'm a mom. I'm fee. I'm a sister. I'm fee. I'm a daughter. I'm fee. You know, I'm a master. I'm fee. She crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got that one right. Be yourself. Go learn about yourself. Go learn an art that will teach you something deep about yourself. We are drawn to different arts because they call to us. Find out why. Answer the fucking call. And stop downplaying your brother and sister for wanting to learn old arts. The fuck is wrong with you? I so wanted to be like, hell, really? Really? This is how he's a witch? How about call him Mr. Witch Doctor, motherfucker? Mr. Witch Doctor. Because the witch doctor used to have status. Hmm? The witch doctor was usually married to the witch. And everybody needed the witch doctor like everybody needed the witch. Since we're going to use European fucking terms. Because these were usually the most spiritually um, adapt and inept people of the village. And now we get a bad rap because you still thinking in European ass terms. You don't believe in magic anymore. And that's how they got us. Because our men stopped believing in their own magic. They forgot that they were the high priests. That even the royalty had to go and see. That's who and what you were. And you laugh at it. Which means you laugh at yourself. Which means you scoff your sister that is learning that exact same thing. And you wonder why we can't get along. We can't get along because you don't know me anymore. I love y'all enough to tell you. We don't need pranksters. We don't need jokesters. We don't need jesters. We don't need fools. We don't need comedians. We need healers. We need teachers. We need warriors. We need spiritualists. And we need them not just from the feminine aspect. In order for us to get right and do right. We need these things from the male aspect as well. We need our brothers to know what their chakras are. We need our brothers to understand that they need to breathe. We need our brothers to understand that you have a birthright. You have a throne. And somebody else is occupying it. And it's yours. But because they have made you so afraid. Of the very skills that you need to rule. This motherfucker sits on your throne. And there's nothing I can do about it. Until you come to your senses. We don't know how to be intimate with one another. Because we don't know how to be intimate with ourselves. We've forgotten how to love each other and support each other because we don't know how to love or support ourselves. You see one of us getting too far ahead, you got to knock him down a peg or two just to make sure his head ain't too big. 
We talk about not talk about each other, but then your brother go and get some get some knowledge, and all of a sudden he's labeled. You label him. That damn society doesn't even have to label us anymore. We do it to ourselves. But you don't call the preacher man no funky names. You don't call him any fucking names. I'd be damned if you even call him a goddamn charlatan. And he taking all the money in the black community. But let these couple few brothers and sisters get out here and start teaching how how to grow food, how to use the herbs, how to use time, how to use your mind, how water works, how air works, how to breathe, how to how to meditate, what the chakras mean and how to open them, how they've lied to you about how many chakras there actually are because they keep three hidden from you. These are the people that... You don't want to mess with them. You leave them alone. Ooh, no, no. Don't go over messing with her. No, no, no. Yeah, don't come over here messing with me because I will fuck over your whole perception. I will change you. I will change you. Now, whether people think I'm changing you for the good or for the bad, I don't give a fuck. But exposure to me? Will change your whole fucking perspective. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Please, today, today, today. Learn something new. Today. Encounter someone new. Today, talk to somebody completely new. All right? That's your homework. Again, for those of you who would like to join U University, we're over there at U University. I'm asking everybody, everybody to ask one person to join you university so we can really get this thing popped off. But for real, for real, y'all, we need our brothers. We need our brothers. We need y'all to catch up. I am more than, more than, more than glad to see the brothers that are trying to learn, that are stepping up to the plate to take care of themselves and help sisters in this spiritual battle. Because if you don't know about spirit, you can't battle in spirit. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. And brothers, stop being so fucking judgmental with your non-learning ass. Pick up a goddamn book and read that motherfucker. And stop, stop, stop being judgmental because somebody taught you that learning was fucked up. Reading is fun and mental. Get your ass in a book. Love y'all. Peace and blessings. Salam Shalom Hotel. Who is this? This is Fondi Fee. And I always, always got my ear to the street. My ear to the street. My ear to the street. Y'all take care of each other. You still here? Go get some water. <laughs>